All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Bungo Stray Dogs Season 4, Episode 4. In the last episode, it was the conclusion of the kind of backstory mini or an unknown origins arc. Um, Fukuzawa and Rampo kind of ended off the episode with the creation of the detective agency through the help of bro that can turn into a cat who I forgot about. Um, I forgot that he was shown previously in other seasons. I didn't realize who he was until afterwards when uh, someone mentioned it. But yeah, he can turn into a cat. He was mentioned in other seasons apparently, and I believe we met him, but again, I can't remember. It was so long ago. I should have watched a, a, like a, a recap. But um, yeah, they started that. We got back to the present. Um, well, also in the past as well, we saw Theodore, whose name I'd forgotten in the last episode, but yeah, he was in uh, season three and Dead Apple. Um, but yeah, interesting now that we're gonna see him. Uh, clearly, it's going to be about him and presumably the other members of Five, as it was mentioned in the past uh, this season. So it's going to be good. Looking forward to it. Back in the present now. I'm excited for it now. Anyway, guys, as always, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. What the hell is going on here? Why is he in prison? What the hell has happened? Was this in free season 3? Did this happen in season 3? Yeah, if Rampo's on the case, I mean, it's going to be pretty hard to find evidence for this, but... How has he just walked into a prison in a teddy bear suit? How does this work? I remember this dude. This is Edgar Allan Poe, I think. It's one of the names I actually do remember. Yeah, wacky bungo stray dog shit. I love this. I think most people have probably noticed it, bro. Damn, now I really wish I'd watched a recap. Yeah, you put me in a freaking bear helmet with a raccoon. Oh, this is him? Okay. You're not one to talk? Damn. I can't remember what this dude's um, power is. Ed Gallon power. Is it something to do with books, I think? He's bored so easily. I wonder if what he's like the mystery he's explaining right now is gonna have anything to do with what's currently happening in the world. Yeah, Rampo? Why have they shown this guy right now as the murderer in this story? I'm confused. What is Rampo talking about? Wait, so Poe's friend was the murderer or or the or the one that died? Yeah, damn, bro is rich. Yeah, you didn't spot that? Bro. What the fuck? That was crazy. Bro, I'm interested. How is everybody not screaming? Their body just fell from the sky. Not gonna lie. I mean, I know it's dangerous, but I would have gone up. Because whoever potentially pushed him would be there. Yeah, that was very quick. Why are they here so soon? So what are you saying? The guy that died maybe kind of got his shoe off before he hit the ground? What? Why? Needless to say, he just saw all the footprints. What? This is elaborate as hell. Oh shit, he's there. Why would you not flee the scene? I don't know, like... Is it smart to be here? Oh yeah? I'm sure Rampo planned this shit as well, bro. You're not about to get away from here. What the hell is this ability? 
The perfect crime. Oh, wow, it gets rid of evidence? That's crazy. So this this ability is just great for murder, then. Wow, an ability that stooped Rampo. The evidence of any crime. Be pretty cool if he didn't use it for murder. If Rampo still figures this out, when it's an ability that directly counters him, he'd be the GOAT. I think someone mentioned as well, we don't know Theodore's ability yet. I can't even remember if we've seen what it, what he's doing, like, if him using it yet. I don't know. Prepare a desk for my work. Okay. That must happen a week after the operation. Is he referring to Rampo or the guy he just threw off the roof? Don't know what the police are taking pictures for. If Rampo can't figure out, they can't. Time to give up? What? The look on their faces. How is he going to get this guy? Oh, so it is a, like, that was like a real author and shit. Wow. Oh my god, Rampo's just going to walk past or something in here. Yeah! Oh my god. No way Rampo's just stumbled into this guy. There's no way this is coincidence. You don't want to walk? <laughs> you don't know how to take trains? Wow. Yeah? In his non-tiger form? I'd laugh if he just climbed in the car. Yeah? You're just going to get in the car? What is Rampo's game right now? I don't get it. His shoes are too small for him right now? Bro, there's no way Rampo hasn't already noticed that. Right, okay. Showcase, yeah, so all eyes on that moment. So they're looking at the, the thing's face. Yeah, okay, you know that much. But does that lead you to him? Right, so that was Bungo Stray Dogs Season 4, Episode 4. Very good episode. I'm so hyped to be back in the present now. Um, it's crazy that, uh, obviously, there's a lot I don't remember, but Doppo is in prison because he, well, under investigation, it's not guaranteed. Obviously, he's not guilty. We've seen what's happened. Um, but yeah, he needs to, Rampo needs to figure this out. Um, we don't know where, where anybody else is at the moment. Of course, we have Rampo and uh, Edgar Allan Poe, I believe. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is a funny duo, but Rampo has, is probably already figured this out. Somehow, he's already explained it, even though this guy has an ability to erase all evidence, which is crazy. But realistically, all he would need to do is just look at the guy's shoes and see, oh, this guy has smaller shoes. Yes, that wouldn't be enough evidence to tie him to the crime. But from there, Rampo would just piece every everything together like he probably already has done, which is insane. Um, there is nothing stopping Rampo when it comes to detective work. But yeah, overall, very good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.